Hey guys, and welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've actually played in this or even recorded the last two episodes that went up. Were previous episodes that I did before I lost internet and had family trouble. So we're gonna get back into things and continue on for where we were. Let's see. <clears throat> My food level is poor, so let's go let's see if we can find some food. And, uh, yeah, go from there. I actually know I've been watching some stuff to do. So if I do end up failing, as usual, this is Don't Starve and you plan on failing a lot. Unless you're MLG and then good GG on you, but not everybody's an MLG player. It's a bit weird now because I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. I used to play with the Xbox controller, but that went defunct on me, so mouse keyboard and up. So, let's see, do I have any torches? No. I do have a fishing pole. I don't really know if there's any... Let's see here. Okay, tab. Is there any fishing pole or ponds around here? Not that I can see. There's king pig and some more pig stuff. So, let's go check out the pig stuff down over here. Some berries. So anyways, it's good to be back. Um, Minecraft at the point now is going to be on hold. Uh, mostly because I'm waiting for a mod pack to come out that I want to actually play. And um, I want to do that instead. Kind of. That and 1.9 is coming out, so any survival or single player stuff will be going on there. Uh, server stuff? Yeah, that's not going to be happening no more, if you uh, had any idea about that. Uh, I did have a server for a while, but mostly the group has disbanded and gone their own separate ways. They're not even doing anything whatsoever on YouTube as a whole. And I kind of made the point of what's the point of having a group and what's the point of me spending money on a server. Oh, there's a fishing pond right here. I was fishing before. Ah, I'm so used to like scrolling through. I tried it. I gotta fix that, I guess. Just to be able to scroll through items. Hey, we got a fish. Got some more fishes. But anyways, going back to what I was saying, yeah, they kind of went their own separate ways. A lot of them aren't doing much. And the ones who are, I really don't have no games to do anything with them, so. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just, everybody does their own stuff always, and a lot of them are in high school, and getting out of high school right now, going into college and stuff like that, so. So, yeah. So that server stuff's gonna be, you know, gone, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not spending money on it because there's really no point in me spending money on it anymore. So I'm not going to talk too much more about that because there's really no point in talking anymore about that stuff. Yeah, I'm so used to freaking using my number, I'm using my scroll reel, or scrolling through the items. It's fine. No. Well, it's close. Six is what I was looking for. Okay. I need a fire. Uh, I don't have anything I need to make a fire. You know, I'm kind of <laughs> feeling like I want to half-ass this one and just die. But that's not the point of, you know. I don't really want to give up. It just, I feel weird because I haven't played this in so long. And then playing it now with a mouse and keyboard. It uh, feels weird. But, I do have a new mouse, so that is great. Um, I might tweet something out showing you guys the new mouse. It's a red dragon, nothing really too neat. It just has some basic features. A uh, funny story about that is, I went on Newegg to look at computer parts. They also upgraded my computer a little bit, just the RAM. It's an old computer, and uh, it needed RAM. That's one of the reasons why I haven't really done much. Because the freaking 
the RAM, which is I was getting blue screens saying memory leak and all that jazz, so I ended up having to get more RAM. And that took a while for me trying to find a place and finally found a place locally, which is kind of cool. So shipping wasn't too bad and didn't take too long. So I upgraded my RAM. And anyways, going back to the new egg thing. Uh, I started there first, and uh, the mouse I was gonna buy was like fifty something dollars on Amazon. So I went for the cheaper version because I don't want to spend all the money I had. I bought the cheaper version of the Red Dragon, and it wasn't that bad, but it was just not great either. Because the newer, the most expensive version had like all the buttons on the side of the controller, so like map all the buttons that are down here on there. But uh, I didn't want to spend fifty nine dollars for it ended up being like the same price I spent for the one I have now. It's like twenty something bucks. Shit, I made too many of them. Mostly because I'm not used to the mouse and keyboard. And I'm sorry with that. So I think I just wasted all of that. Um All that uh, grass I just collected on. And I just. Yes, I did. So I want to make the full campfires. I never campfire. Oh, I can actually make the full campfire, but I don't need to make the full campfire. Why won't you let me place it there? Alright. The cool thing is, they're actually releasing uh, for people who own the regular version, they'll start together, will be coming out soon, I believe. I think I read that somewhere, so that's kind of cool. I'm that. I have like, no one to play with, but I can always just go on a forum to learn and see if anybody wants to do a you know, video. So. And I've also learned, but by the fact that I got new internet, and I could do live streaming, I just have to work on setting that up. And right now I'm not going to really even move to. Not that I'm not going to do it, I just don't want to get right off the bat. That. So, yeah. Torches I made. Oh, I got the rain. It's actually looking for the rain, but I kind of really do want to restart this thing, but yeah, just go with it. You never know. This might be the one that I might make it all the way to the end or um, die of beautiful glory to Cyclops or something like that. I need to make a new torch. I don't want to make any torches. Charcoal to make a uh, better food source. Can't hit the tree. Can't hit the fire. Nothing bad can happen, can it? I have to light more than one. It's not close together. Really? I know there's one back at base, but I don't feel like 
Going all the way through. Five. Gotta get used to that. The new mechanic now. Me having to use. Ooh, son of a bitch pig. Alright. Um. Gold, I don't have gold. You know, I know I've been saying I don't want to let shit go, blah blah blah. blah, blah. I think I'm gonna go out and go YOLO somewhere and die a glorious death. And, uh, yeah, start a new one, start a new one. Because I'm, I'm so lost and confused, and I'm trying to control scene now. And I'm going slowly insane. Yet again. So, go find something to kill and start killing bees. And bees are bees. I've also learned that rain and environmental stuff sucks. So, you know, I was looking for a cool place to set up shop like I was back at that other place, but uh, I actually know a good way to survive, uh, ironically enough, and, uh, I could say, well, you know what you can do, because you can, uh, you all the fun of playing it yourself, but actually, you know, that's how I learn, that's how I learn one thing, one new thing, and two, uh, play, um, find games that I want to play. And uh, I'm thinking about making a new series like that, that uh, on the 18th, so I'm going to start back in theory. Spooky Shadow Campaign Um, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a small series that's just a one-up series where I not really rate the reviews, but play 30 minutes of the game, talk about it, uh, what's good about the game, what's bad about the game length and stuff like that, instead of just doing a full black toy on it, because certain games, not only are they're not, you know, they're, not that they're not good for let's play, but they're, you know, you can ruin the game, for watching a YouTube video, uh, or the, uh, But, um, watch it for, see if the game's worth it down the line, or spend the money on it. This day and age, a lot of these development companies don't give a fucking crap out about how... Oh, seven days. Getting close to leveling up. Cool, cool. Uh, a little on the main menu, because I'm going to choose a new character. And... Yeah, I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. And we're back, and what I was saying is a lot of these development companies don't really care. I mean, indie companies do, because they, they have to, or they're, a lot of them not going to make it, but uh, let's choose a new character. I don't want to go with some of the new guys I've got. Um, go him. I guess. I kind of like to rub it, because you can eat spoiled food, but the problem with the robot is the rain sucks. So I'm gonna go with this one. And okay, maybe not. Um, oh, I gotta click on it. There we go. Hers the dog. Or who her that Whatever. Whatever his name is. I'm not gonna pronounce it right. I'm not gonna try. But anyways, while this is generating, uh you know, you've got games out there like AAA titles like oh, I don't know, Ubisoft, EA games, just to say a few, that's um they don't care. So I'm not going to spend $69 or $59 and it'd be 65 with tax to play a broken game. Well, I can have someone who I trust, a YouTuber I trust, to play the game for me. And, um, you know, get the gist of the thing. So, this character's actor starts out kind of cool. He's got his own lantern that uh, will help, you know light up the night. It's not a powerful lantern, I don't believe, so it's not really overpowered. 
spooky. So we don't have to worry about that. So my goal in this one now, is I kind of, now that I know what I'm doing, not know what I'm doing. Back to the basics again. I'm gonna find a place, maybe near some bunnies, and near some uh, spiders. And uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Why I want to be near spiders. Um, but getting back onto these games, you know, if you trust the YouTuber that you've watched for a while now, and you know that he's not, he or she's not being paid to play the games. They enjoy playing the games because they like the games. You get a gist of if that game's worth your time or not. Um, there's a few games that I've, that I've never bought or never will buy because of that reason. And there were some games that I did buy, but I was still hesitant on buying because they're early access games. Um, that's another thing is early access is kind of also ruining it for developers. I understand why some indie developers do it because they need the money or whatever. But if you can't complain about early access games if you you know, if you get a game that's got bugs in it. You know what you're doing. You should know what you're doing. And you should take the time to research the game before buying it or spending money on it. And especially if the games are like thirty nine dollars or sixty dollars for a full game, or something like uh, H1Z1 or uh, Seven Days, not uh, the, the, the Daisy. Where there's people out there doing reviews about these games, telling you that hey, don't buy this game for X amount of reasons. Uh, you know, it's full of hackers, or the development company doesn't give a damn. Or well, let's not talk about H1Z1. I'm just talking about Daisy on that aspect. I played Daisy as a mod, and it should have just stayed as a mod. Um, will I play and buy the new Daisy? Nope. And that's mostly because of what I've watched from other YouTubers and what I've heard from people who actually own the game and I've sat down and talked with is that the game is fucking broken and there is no timeline on when it's going to be fixed and the development company doesn't really give a half-assed damn as we've been proven that the, the original uh, lead developer fucking said, fuck you, I'm leaving this game and I'm going to take all your money and run. So that's the reason why, when it comes to like the early access games, you guys need to do your research on the game. A uh, game that I did a lot of research on, that I bought, that I'm glad I bought, was Seven Days to Die. Um, at the beginning, I was very hesitant to buy it, but I watched a lot of a couple YouTubers, a couple different YouTubers play it, and um, I still was like, no, I'm not gonna buy it. And I did research on Steam and read reviews, and there were some reviews there that kind of made me go, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna buy it. But I got to the point where I kept watching it, and I'm like, I kind of really want to play this game. It looks fun. I want to play it. Um, but I'm still hesitant on buying it. So what I did was it was on a winter Steam sale. So it was like half or like $14 or something like 10 or four, ten or $12. I bought it then. And it's not that I don't want to give a development company its full price for a game. I have no problem giving full price for a game. But there were so many... Um, at the time, so many red flags tell me not to buy it, but again, I wanted to buy it, so I ended up buying it cheaper. So if I did lose out money, I'd only lose out 12 or $10, and I'd go, eh, I lost $10 and $12. I learned my lesson. I was an idiot. I let my uh, want for playing a cool game to have instead of actually playing it cool, you know, waiting and doing more research on it, or just waiting it out. So that's something I did. Um, I'm not disappointed with the game now. Uh, I'm not worried about the development of the game. Um, some developers said some things that kind of turned me off at the beginning, but you know, you're gonna get some of them people who shouldn't be PR. I shouldn't say anything, and there's some out there who should say stuff. That uh, yeah. But, uh, there's, there's a reason why there's a PR department. So many people like that. Uh, that's what I gotta say about games and early access and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know how I got in a tangent about this, but I guess I did. Uh, I'm good at doing that, just random tangents. It's kind of a good game to do that. It doesn't like Minecraft, so... You can get lost and... Switch around trying to find a good spot to... Tires call home. Alright, 
thing does have a durability, I guess. I don't know if it's just gonna cut off and re build itself, because I never played with this character. Uh, ooh, that's what I want to see over there in that corner, is some of them robots I can build. Um, a chest. Oh, it's just the marble statue. Oh, marble's good. But right now I'm looking for some spiders. Um, I definitely camp near spiders. Uh, good food, food source. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was kind of a weird episode. I kind of gave up in the last one just because, well, it's been a while since I played it. So, yeah, I kind of just didn't, couldn't get my grasp around it. New keyboard and mouse stock for me. And before you get to complain, yes, I play both with mouse and keyboard and with uh, controls. It just uh, controllers. It just depends on what the game is and what I'm, you know, what I feel like playing. Um, kind of opposite. A lot of people say, "Oh, I, I do mouse and keyboard like FPS games, stuff like that." Well, certain FPS games I can't do it. So yeah, uh, certain games I can. Uh, Minecraft definitely don't. I don't use a controller for Minecraft. That's a game that. No. Uh, Seven Days to Die? No. Uh, racing games? I don't play much of them. Those would be definitely a, um, a game that I'd probably use a controller. And a lot of people agree on that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, the night's almost over with, so hopefully this lantern could hold out. I'm think I'm just, I was gonna cut this short, but yeah. But there's you know games like uh, I'm a Fallout fan, and I'm excited about the new one coming out. That's the game that I play with uh, a controller, not because the keyboard. It's just so many buttons on a keyboard and the controller. I can kind of limit it down a bit. But games like Skyrim, where I have a, I mod it heavily now, where there's action keys that are needed on a keyboard that can't be put in a controller, so I kind of like how Skyrim does it, where it allows you to do both uh, keyboard and mouse at the same time. So that is it. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to say goodbye, um, and we'll continue on. So this will be, I don't know what, a renew start again. I'm not going to season this out. I'm just going to just keep on going. Um, I'll label it new start, I guess, uh, model 2 or 2.0. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, uh, leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel and you found us through however means you found through and you want to see more, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.